Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm making this video after a long time after having Corona and let's just say the market has been going down pretty bad and especially today down 2.5% in NASDAQ and it's taking a toll on pretty high growth stocks like Corsair Gaming, Neo, Xpeng, Fisker and Fubo. And I want to talk about these high gro growth names and especially that Dogecoin and all the crypto spaces in the hype right now. I'm going to tell you guys it's a big bubble. Um, I'm not going to say Bitcoin is a bubble, but it's definitely something like Dogecoin is in a bubble. And once that explodes, I feel like these SPACs, these undervalued stocks, these high growth stocks could get some more attention and be in the rise again. So the Nasdaq is down pretty painful today uh, after Yellen's comments on the interest rates and inflation coming. It was a pretty small statement, but CNBC, like always, took it pretty harsh today. Um, let's just talk about Corsair Gaming. Uh, they released their earnings today, earlier today. They were up 5% pre-market, but the market was just so nasty, it couldn't hang up to its gains and fell 4.4%. So the earnings were absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend you guys to see the earnings call. The stock did fall from 50, so you can find around 50% upside in Corsair. Uh, now, my next stock is NEO. It had around 20,000 vehicles delivered in the quarter, I believe. And it also went up like 2%, but uh, the um, chip shortage is uh, weighing on NEO and it's been falling 5%. It was trying to uh, hang up above 40, but 40 seems like it's support and a breakthrough support. So it's looking weak right now in the short term, but definitely in the long term as the EV space gets a bit better, um, it's a definite buy for me. I explain the same thing. Uh, they haven't reported their earnings yet, but they did uh, release their numbers. Their numbers seem to be around 5,000 vehicles. And they also released their new vehicle, the x Model P5, uh, which has lighter sensors. I'm liking x at $28 here. And its high was $64, so you can see some pretty big upside, down about 1%, not too much today. Fisker, Fisker uh, in the day even went around to 1157 And what can I say, guys? This was about 27 when it got the pump from its new vehicle that it didn't release, but it did come on CNBC and their partnership with Foxconn. And that took it all the way to 28. And from 28, it's down a whopping 57%. So definitely look out after Fisker. One of the things I like about Fisker is their lightweight asset model with um, Magna and Foxconn. But the downside I do see with the analyst rating of $10 that came in from Goldman Sachs, uh, one of the analysts, he said that they're starting production a bit too late. And I kind of agree with them. 2023 is a big time here and they could lose market share just because of that but otherwise uh this is a pretty early investment but if you get in here early and they're able to sell a lot of vehicles i, I believe they have twelve thousand pre-orders uh, it can be good but i feel it's just a too uh, a bit too early for some people here but i do own quite a lot of shares of fisker uh, I, I believe at a price of 14 dollars and lastly, one of my favorite stocks, Fubo, down 6.93%. It kind of hurts uh, me saying this. I just refresh this, but uh, it's pretty volatile in the day. I mean, it goes up 3%, down 3%. I don't know. I just look at it in the end. Uh, Fubo's earnings, I believe, are on May 11th. And uh, I've been seeing Twitter, and the CEO has been kind of pumping the stock all the way. He's just been going like, guys, relax, relax. The earnings are coming up on 11th May. So definitely something better be there. Otherwise, I'll be pretty disappointed with David Gandler, who is the CEO. Um, definitely Fubo TV. It has a loss-making business right now. Its main model right now is loss-making uh, model. So that's why this is one of the most risky stocks. But because of the sports betting they're getting out later in this year, this could be one of the highest return stocks, in my opinion. Uh, valued at $2.6 billion here. Um, I won't be surprised to see that $26 billion uh, market cap in a few years' time if they're able to execute that properly. Because if you look at DraftKings, which has... This is also in the sports betting. It's worth 21 billion. So that's pretty big as well. And that's why I'm bullish at Fubo today. Um, I put quite a lot of money in. I think my average is around $23. So I'm in a loss right now. And we'll see how that hangs up. But this market crash, um, they sell, they say, uh, sell in May and go away. Well, I think this is what's happening today. And 
it's pretty disappointing to see, but I think it's better to focus on having more time in the market than trying to time the market. And that's just something you guys have to understand. Um, don't look at the short term. Don't worry about the short term. The long term, it will favor you if the company is improving their growth and uh, proving what they're there for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, like my stock picks over here. I will be making another update video on this video and maybe also more uh, stocks. So uh, I apologize for not making any videos in the last few weeks. I did have Corona and I was helping my parents as well. But here I am back again and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.